to go, folks. One, two, three. Great. Stay there. It's all coming together here in Cleveland for the Republican Convention 2016. This is the official coming together of the Republican Party to unite for their nominee, which, of course, looks like it's going to be Donald Trump. He needed a majority of 2,472 delegates. He has that and will be, after a roll call of these states where they announce their results, will be, it looks like, confirmed. But there was an active contingent here at the Republican Rules Setting Committee the week before the convention that tried to stop Trump by inserting a conscience clause into the party rules. That essentially meant the delegates wouldn't be tied, they could vote for who they wanted. That was knocked down, and the Never Trump movement is never more. I support the conscience clause. Delegates are sent to do the work of the party, and they need to be freed up to do that work. That way they can assess everything that's going on. So what was your reaction to the fact that's not going to happen? Uh, we were very disappointed. As well as officially making Donald Trump the nominee for president, also all the states and delegates here are going to back the party's policies. It's called the platform. Essentially, it's a real coming together of all the states after the primary process, all the delegates here, into unifying the Republican Party so they can go forward together for the general election to be held in November. It's all about beating Hillary Clinton. And that's why some people who didn't vote for Donald Trump before are now willing to do so. I have not nominated my choice for president since George Bush in 2000 and 2004. And, but I know that when the process is finished, uh, we all have to, have to get behind the Republican nominee because it's a choice between Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. And for me, that's an easy choice. Listen up. Quiet, please. Quiet. Two of Donald Trump's policies have already been adopted onto the policy platform, and they are controversial ones. First, to build the wall on the Mexican border. Number two, a temporary ban on Muslim immigrants as well. As for the stage behind me, well, we'll see Donald Trump give his speech on Thursday night, accepting the nomination. Before that, an unconventional mix of politicians, sports personalities, and entertainers. Nathan King, CCTV. Cleveland, Ohio.